Welcome to another quick tip from So Comfort with Amanda. I'm your host, Amanda. I'm glad you are here today to learn a little bit more about sewing and how to paint with fabric. Now, the reason I love to say that I paint with fabric is I love to quilt. Quilting was really an art that I found beautiful but intimidating when I started. Therefore, I started looking for techniques that I could use to speed up my process. Some techniques involve taking two pieces of fabric, putting them together as long strips, and then cutting them down. I've already done that with this particular pattern. This is Peppermint by Villa Rose, and I've chosen a sweet kitty design because I just love the pop of pink and gray and the contrast, and I thought that this this bar here would be really pretty in that gray, and the pink is actually gonna be what's called the light pattern on here. So what I'm gonna show you today is actually a way to make the piecing go faster. It is called chain piecing. Chain piecing is where you literally connect your block, or you do a stack of blocks at once, and they're connected by a piece of thread, hence it's called chaining. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you now. Um, here we go. We're gonna go to our machine and you're going to put your fabric under your presser foot. I'm using a quarter inch foot and the reason I love the quarter inch foot is I don't have to guess where I am on my machine. If you don't have one, um, they're not very expensive so it's a great investment, but most feet for your machine actually are already marked where the quarter inch is. On mine, it's right here on this line. So this is the default foot from my machine for a straight stitch. And I usually would just follow this line, but I found that sometimes my fabric walked and I get to the left of the line or to the right of the line. This quarter inch foot, I just gently put the fabric under it and have it just where it grazes the edge and I always get a consistent seam which is probably one of the number one tips you have for quilting. And one of the things that's the most intimidating is it's a very precise art that requires everything to be the same size. And so the more you can use a tool to help you, the better off you'll be. Now, if you can't um, find the quarter inch mark on your foot, you can always use a piece of masking tape or painter's tape, preferably, on your machine and mark it yourself. So here we go with our quarter inch foot. We're gonna put down the needle and you'll notice that I didn't cut this off I didn't stop it I'm going to take about six stitches and start up my next block and I'll go ahead and sew it pretty rapidly you guide with your left under the machine and keep the right keeps it up against the presser foot so now I'm going to do my next chain and this is called a one-way print. You'll notice the cat ears are all going in the exact same direction. That means when I am putting my pieces together, I have to pay attention to the way that they're going to lay on the quilt. And in this case, I want, I'm doing the lower part of the peppermint, so I need that light or my pink to be upright. And then you pull this down, and here we go. And I apologize, I did that just so fast it shook the table. Okay, so when you get to the end of your chain, you, you don't have to tie off on quilts like this because you're going to do an intersection when you put it all together. But as you can see here, those two pieces I just did are added to a larger chain. And now I'm gonna go in with a pair of scissors. These are my Fisker Snips. They're one of my favorites. I don't think they make these anymore, but if you can find them, they're amazing for small thread clippings, corner cutting, uh, anything where you need precision and you don't want your hand to fatigue. Uh, another way you can use it, or I mean get the same type of action is with a pair of embroidery scissors. And you just get them in between and cut all the chains apart. And there are a dozen of these because they will be added together to make the rows. 
and you can chain piece at pretty much any stage where you have a repetitive piecing meaning you're going to make the same block more than once or you're going to connect more than one block so on this particular pattern we have four to a row so i could chain piece these two and these two and do that for each row so that'd be one two three four five six units that i would do next and then make one large unit and i do the same for the next row so chain piecing is a very powerful tool and it's something that can make your quilts go a lot faster and it takes the intimidation factor out of the large number of pieces that many quilts have um, do make sure that after you finish chain piecing that you do go over to your iron and press your fabric remember when we're quilting we press we do not iron pressing means i take my iron and lay it down for about five seconds maybe maximum of 10 and I pick it up and then that gives me a nice crisp edge and doesn't pull my fabric so let me go ahead and show you chain piecing really quick to make that row I was just showing you we're going to take and put together two And again, because these are one-way designs, when you chain piece, make sure that you are using the correct direction or you will be making friends with your seam ripper. I've made very good friends with my seam ripper. I've already pulled a set out today because I put the gray on top, <laughs> what I wanted pink. All right, there we go. We're chain piecing here. Get to the bottom of my chain cut it with my machine if you can or a pair of snips whatever you have come in here snip my chain apart now i have one two units and that needs to become a row and to make it a row i just come right down here and add one more seam and you'll see as you get good at this it's actually really easy to quilt um, large blocks straight seams when you start getting into complicated piecing you can't always do this type of technique but for making something for a friend or a family member and you're going to use your colors to do the talking for you rather than the crazy intricate design these are wonderful so if you are intimidated by quilting Please look up the Villa Rose patterns. They are so beautiful and easy. I really have enjoyed using them over the past, over, well, actually, while I was pregnant, I made a lot of tops with these because they are so simple and easy to do. So there you go. There's our robe all together in under 10 minutes. This, thank you for joining me today to learn a little bit more about painting with fabric and sewing. Uh, this has been a quick tip on quilting and chain piecing to make your quilting faster from So Comfort with Amanda. I hope that you will help continue the conversation and join us on Facebook or give our video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful night.